In this video, I will test two pair of glasses for biking, photochromic and polarized. So these glasses are relatively affordable and of high quality. I did test them in a few scenarios, when boating and fishing and when biking in various lighting conditions. Outdoor Master is a US based online company with as far as I understand strong ties with China where manufacturing takes place. They also make winter sports equipment, have involved several athletes and is an official supplier of the US ski team. It's the same frame for both glasses and it's lightweight and sturdy. I did feel some slight irritation on the skin here behind my ear after extended periods of time but that's not different from any of the other glasses that I use. Another thing is that the glasses sit a bit too high up. That's not the glasses fault, it's the shape of my nose and face. They sit better on other members of my family. The frame is very durable and if you happen to sit on the glasses, they will not break and they will quickly return to the normal shape. Outdoor Master even suggested that I should run over these glasses with my bike. But you know what? I like these glasses a little too much to risk anything, but I did appreciate that Outdoor Master had the confidence to suggest such an idea. The glass itself seemed to be of very high quality and they're also scratch resistant. They also come in a hard case, which I think is a must if you want to transport your glasses together with your other bike gear. So from a durability standpoint, these glasses will probably stand the test of times. So top marks in that department. The lenses are extraordinarily sharp and clear, a very noticeable difference from cheaper sunglasses for instance. That's another thing I appreciate and it's also a must when it comes to good sports equipment. Color accuracy is however one thing that's not top notch, at least when it comes to the photochromic glasses. I don't know if this is intentional to enhance certain colors or if it's simply a difficult task to get the photochromic glasses to represent colors accurately. I don't have any issues with that in the woods, it simply isn't very noticeable there, and it's nothing I think about. But out on the sea, I noticed that the sky looks artificial, and the beautiful pink granite suddenly looks awful through these glasses. This is something you will notice when you really look for it, so it's not a deal breaker. It's only something I felt I need to mention. The Polaroid lens represents colors better. These glasses are marketed as biking glasses, but of course you can use it for other sports as well, such as boating and fishing, and maybe even paddle. I like how the glasses wrap around my face and shut out a big portion of sunlight that sometimes irritates me when I'm using normal sunglasses. There's no distortion where the lens curves either. The Polaroid function in the Polaroid glasses is of limited use for biking. Maybe if there's some glare in the tarmac, they could be of use for road cyclists. I see the point out in the sea though. They don't remove all the glitter, about half I would say. I compared these to other Polaroid glasses and they both perform the same when it comes to removing the glare and the glitter. For playing paddle outdoors, they work great too and remove some of that glare from the glass walls. Again, the glasses wrap around my face and since they're very sharp, they work noticeably better than regular sunglasses. I also tried to see if the polarization would help to look through the water, but there I didn't notice any difference. Since these glasses sit a bit too high up on my nose, there is a gap underneath which lets in air. It's particularly noticeable in 45 knots, and I know some have problems with runny eyes. I don't have this problem, and I don't like the glasses touch my face either, so this slight misalignment doesn't bother me that much. When mountain biking in the woods, the speed isn't always very high, and wind is less of a problem, but fit is of course very important when it comes to glasses. The polar glasses also come with an extra lens, a clear lens. I guess this means these glasses can be used as protection as well, against branches and stuff in the woods when it's not that bright outside. But for me, the photochromic lens is of more interest. The thought of having only one pair of glasses that covers all situation is of course enticing. This lens has got a VLT range from 10 to 80%, whatever that means. In layman terms, they can go from almost clear to absolutely dark enough. It's like magic when you see the differences. They do work in real world scenarios. They work by reacting to the UV light, and I noticed that when the sun was very low, they don't get as dark as during midday. 
but after a couple of glasses of wine, I wasn't that bothered with that or anything else anymore. One good thing about these glasses is that there always seems to be the right amount of tint. Doesn't matter if I'm here in the woods where the sun is setting and there's some shade here and I got the light straight into my face. Yeah, so no worries there. The photochromic technology is of course nothing new and it's popular among motorcyclists for instance, who sometimes have photochromic visors on their helmets. The problem there is the reaction time. If you go from bright sunlight and enter a tunnel, the reaction time is way too slow and it takes forever for the visor to adjust to the darkness of the tunnel. Us mountain bikers usually don't have that immediate problem. We do go from open fields into wooded areas, but the difference in brightness is not that huge. Still, the reaction time matters, of course. Outdoor Master claims that these glasses react in about 10 seconds. I don't know how they measure that, but I got different numbers in my little test. I don't think these glasses react any slower than other photochromic glasses, at least that I know of, but don't expect lightning quick changes. Prices for the glasses are shown here, and I don't feel the need to look for any other glasses. These are perfectly fine and punch well over the weight. I will probably mostly use these photochromic glasses because I find that function very useful. So for the price to performance ratio, I can strongly recommend these glasses. And no, I wasn't paid to say that. <laughs>